Okay, I've seen quite a few posts um, with questions about using the uh, Spry widgets from Dreamweaver uh, without static XML data files, just using like a query from a database. And in this demonstration, we'll use uh, MySQL. Here's how I've been doing it for a while. Um, for the demonstration, I've got an index file. It's just an empty, like an HTML shell. And I've got a file called query to xml.php. And it's here that we'll make the query and then loop through the data in the query and output XML. And here's how it works. Um, first of all, I'm just going to make a normal record set the Dreamweaver way. I'll call this RS Buildings. So I'm going to go through our campuses here. The table, campuses, we'll select everything and we'll go ahead and sort by the TEA number ascending. If I test that out, great, I get my data. So my query is working nicely. Now, what I need to do is go back, of course, before the connection is uh, is cut. We're going to throw in this awesome little script that came from uh, Adobe Labs. First of all, let me end this or start this PHP code block. There we go. All right. So here's the code that. I pulled from Adobe Labs. Um, it starts by sending some headers, defining it as XML, um, and then notice it puts in a root container and ends it. Then uh, it starts to do the uh, the conditional statement, puts in a, a row container, and then inside the row there's a loop that sets each of the column names as the data container name and then sticks the data inside that container. I also found that the code that's posted on Adobe Labs um, produced a bit of an error with these double brackets. So what I've been doing is I take them and I put those brackets inside quotations and concatenate it with that variable around that variable. Okay, just like that. So this should actually output raw XML data. Let's give it a shot. Save it, I'll upload it, and look at that. We've now got seemingly well formed raw XML. So let's make it pretty. This is where our index file comes in and this in a production environment is the, the file that you know users would look at. So we've got a normal HTML file here. And then we're going to first need to create a Spry data set to work with. And this is going to be the data type XML. Now, uh, I'm just going to leave the data set name the default. Now, when we browse for the file, it's saying what file is going to give me the XML data, and by default, see how it looks for an XML file? It's looking for a flat XML file. We're going to look for a dynamically generated one, which comes from our PHP script, which I put in the demo folder. There it is, and there's the file we just created, and we tested. We know it works. Okay, and look at that. It found the data containers, and we can verify down here that the data is actually being pulled. I'll click on next. I can set some options if I like. And now we get to choose some options, different display options. We'll try the master detail layout. Looks good. Put those in a div and click on done. Go ahead and test it out. 
and it's gorgeous. Now, of course, we could jazz this up. Maybe this would have the name, the ID would have the name of the school. And then over here, maybe we would tell what these actual numbers are. Th this is uh, data for, like, um, is a secondary campus? Well, yes. Um, is an elementary campus? No. Those types of things. And we could jazz this up and make it look nice. Maybe put, put the campus graphic in there. But you get the general idea. Hope you enjoyed it.